every $25 in meat and seafood you buy. So please keep that in mind also. So again, here's your tornado safety tips. As always, we'll keep it here. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with today. Tornado warnings everywhere, but we're gonna catch some fish. What is up guys? Welcome back to an episode of Hawkeye Bass, and I'm sorry it's been two months. It's just been a crazy, crazy year so far. So I should say the winter transition to spring has been absolutely insane. Um, it'd be 20 degrees one day, 70 degrees the next day, and I just, we couldn't get a consistent bite to make a video. And I had a lot of stuff going on, but we're gonna be back putting out one to two videos a week. Thank you guys for sticking around so much. If you didn't see my live stream a couple days ago, I gave away some baits. I think I'm gonna bring those back as well. I don't make this a super long intro, but I got basically got two hours tonight to go out and catch some fish. Um, like I said, it's been tough. I've had a few really good days with some really big fish, and then I've had a lot of days with no fish. So I'm hoping to maybe have, I'm not gonna ask for a lot, maybe just one of those in-between days. We're gonna be hitting a lake, which I don't know what it's gonna be. Then we're gonna hit some ponds that have been really good, but we got three inches of rain last night. So it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna go out, we're gonna throw some chatter baits today, maybe some jerk baits, lipless cranks. I'm just gonna pack a little day box and we are gonna get at it. Don't wanna make this intro super long. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me like, what am I using this year for rods and reels? I'm gonna go through that maybe in the next video or the video after that. So look forward to that. Um, I'll try to link everything I use in the description today, but if I don't, please excuse me. I'm gonna start doing that starting the next video when we go through my rod and reel arsenal. So enough talking. I'm tired of talking. I wanna do some fishing. Let's get out there and try to catch some LMBs. All right, folks, you're gonna to have to, uh, you gotta forgive me. We're not gonna have any drone shots today. Um, there was just a gust of wind that had to have been like 30 miles an hour. So just gonna be straight GoPro today. I'm not even gonna bring this out because the rain and this camera do not mix very well. <clears throat> All right guys, so once again, please excuse the crummy, crummy, crummy audio. Um, it will be fixed on my next video. I got a mic coming in. So we're using this one that doesn't have a windscreen and I'm pretty sure it's not even gonna record audio half the time. So if you see some clips mixed in with some music, that's probably why. And GPS is going crazy. So I'm fishing the opposite corner of this lake that I fished yesterday. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but I have caught fish here after a big rain. Like I said, it rained a ton last night. It's supposed to rain more tonight. In fact, it's sprinkling right now. But what we got tied on right now? Square bill. Chatterbait in the bluegill color. Just brought a little box, packed a little day box right here. I got some jigs. Some chatterbaits, some of those cranks. Folks, here's something I didn't expect to, to find. I turned the GoPro on just in case I fall. Luckily I didn't. Some sort of homeless camp or something. Whew. Good Lord. All right, folks, finally found the lake. Man, that was a trek. I didn't want to like walk through people's yards, so I did the right way. And the water is super, super dirty. So, might be switching this chatterbait out for like a black and blue, or even the uh, white and chartreuse, which is good color this year too. Oh, yeah, the water is bad. Um, what I have noticed here is there's a bunch of giant, giant carp up in here. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to snag them, but I'm kind of casting near them. And if I happen to snag one, it might be kind of fun. But they're everyone here, but there's no bass. We have a huge fish on, guys. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, my God. It came up and just rattled this bait. Oh, it's a big, large mouth. Holy crap. Get up here. Oh, wow. That scared the living hell out of me. Holy crap. He came and got it right when I was about to lift it out of the water. Sorry about that horrible camera start time there. That is a chunk. Not as big as I thought it was initially. He came exploding out of the water and grabbed it on the lipless crank. I mean, he just came up and exploded. I had just turned my camera off, guys. Just turned it off. Oh my gosh, that is a nice, healthy fish though. Ooh, got a big old mouth. Yes, we will take that. 
Thank you, kind sir. Wow. Okay, I guess I need to keep the camera rolling. I was just about ready to give up on this spot. All right, folks. We got one of them giant carp, I think. Oh, boy. Oh, this thing is absolutely giant. It'd be really cool if I could actually catch this thing, but I doubt it. Oh, feels good to have something heavy on the line, though. The only problem is there's a bunch of trees out there. Yeah, this is a giant. All right, let's see if we can get over here. Ooh, look at that pole, babe. Oh, oh, I came off. Ah. I would never got that in, I don't think. That was an absolute monster. Right, still continuing down. I haven't found that drop off yet. Like I said, it goes from that, you know, muddy flat to like, I don't know, 30 foot of water. And I keep dragging, so I know this thing isn't diving 30 feet deep. I wanna find right where that drop off is. Right here. The further away from, the further away from that mud flat I get, the cleaner the water gets too. All right, I tried convincing myself that they'd be on the rocks down here. They just aren't. They walk. Are you kidding me? We don't want to use one of those the rest of the day. I don't have another one. I knew I should have brought my full pack of stuff. Seriously, what the hell is going on? All right, guys. So we're going to call it quits on the lake here. I might go try the other side, but we're gonna go test the pond that's really close to see if. Possibly the pond bite might be on today. Now I'll see if I can get back to the dang car. Oh, definitely not the way I came. Oh, yep. I think I wore these crappy like, hiking shoes. They are, oh, yep, yep, full of water. Finally arrived at the car. My golly. Alright guys, so we are out to go to the ponds. Um, we're gonna hit just a couple of you guys have seen me out a bunch of times. Once again, now it is seven o'clock and there is literally tornado warnings two counties away. So we don't really have a lot of time, unfortunately, but I think we are really going to uh, catch some fish at these ponds, hopefully. If not, it was nice to get on here, making a video, get to connect with you guys again. Um, leave some comments down below what kind of videos you wanna see this next week or two. As my car rudely interrupts me with its beeping, forget it. Let's switch to the GoPro when we get to the pond. This is just turning out to be a disaster. All right, guys, got that chartreuse and green chatterbait. Water's super dirty. And it's came up a good foot. So we got like massive amounts of rain last night. Of course, <laughs> wasn't recording. We haven't been catching anything. Decent little bass here, nothing like that one at the lake, but we'll take it. He was right on shore, right on some wood on shore. Look at him chomping down on me, Judas Priest. Decent little bass. Just had the GoPro running for like, I don't know, five, six minutes straight. Caught nothing. 
I knew there was going to be one by that log too. All right, guys, this is the OG chatterbait. I got this two springs ago. First chatterbait I've ever owned. You can see it doesn't really rust. It's just like corroding kind of. I don't know. It's really weird. It's really old. See how beat up the head is. Let's see. I, I believe this pond was the first pond I caught my first chatterbait fish on with this exact chatterbait. So we're going to throw this crusty one because I don't want to lose another one. Let's see if we can get, I just want to get a couple more fish. The thunderstorms are about a half hour away. As I say that, I don't know if you guys heard that, there's thunder in the distance. Gotta be a fish on this bank, right? Oh, just an absolute mondo. God. I saw this fish wake out from the bank. That was gonna be a good hit. No, and you hurt my trailer. There's a dink. Of course, I think the, the old curse is gonna live on. I turn that GoPro off and bang, official hit. Oh, bruh. Well, guys, I was just gonna come on and say I just had one of them, probably three, four pounders, which is a giant for this pond. One came and swiped it right up next to shore. I don't really know what happened there when I was gonna cast, but that wasn't cool. Didn't really backlash, it just, I had one of those things where it loops back and then it stops. Finally, a fish. I've been dragging by a lot of them. I see them wake out and they just don't bite it, but of course this freaking dink will come bite it. There we go. Didn't get a good hook set into him. I don't think he's big. Nope. Well. Trying to get a last second tornado fish. It's not the size of the front. Who's calling me over and over and over and over again? No idea. in the reeds. There he came back. And another dink. Well, not as small as the last one. We did it, folks. Hit the pound mark. There we go. That's a better fish. Nope, he hooked in the side of the mouth. <laughs> it's not terrible, but. Oh, I mean, that's not terrible, but I thought he was bigger. Eh. All right, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for. We have to go past these geese. Dude, I just want to... I just want to go around these keys. Alright guys, so the old crusty chatterbait comes through for me catches a few fish. Uh, once again, I only threw a few things in this box. I wish I had that shad colored lipless crank, but we busted it off on a tiny tree. So I'm gonna throw this square bill. See if the big ones are still a little deeper. Guys, we're gonna call it a night. It's pretty dark outside. It is 8.07 and the storms are right on our tail. Um, so it was grind. Um, fish for two hours. You know, we caught some fish. One one nice one you could see at the lake and then a few small ones here. Um, the conditions just were bad. You know, I mean, 
the the ponds are chocolate milk the lake was chocolate milk in that one little cove we were fishing so this wasn't happening today but go dude Ooh. sorry excuse me there um now i lost my train of thought gear used in today's video so you guys saw me use a daiwa tatula svtw that is one of my new favorite reels. Once again, I said I'm gonna go through all of my new reels and rods in a, in a future video, probably in the next video. Probably might, might make it tonight. Um, used 14 pound fluorocarbon on both the reels today. Um, I was using a medium heavy rod and a medium rod, the medium rod I was using for the crankbaits and I ended up using for the chatterbait as well. And then I was using that medium heavy for the chatterbait. Let's get my car. So, excuse my rustiness, excuse the bad audio, excuse the bad fishing, just excuse this video. I just feel like I had to get back on here, make a video for you guys, and uh, let you know I'm still alive, and let you know that we have a lot of really good content coming up. Like I said, I got a project that I've been working on for a month or two now. It's gonna it's gonna blow your guys' mind. It's, it's really cool. Um, I'm also planning a few subscriber meetups, and in the works is a little pond fishing tournament. Um, at these little chain of ponds in central Iowa. So that's something to look for as well. But with all that being said, guys, I think we're going to check out for the night. Um, we'll be back very soon. We got a video coming out in two days. Like I said, we're gonna do an arsenal video here in a couple days as well. We got a lot of stuff planned. Um, good luck guys out there fishing. Um, stay safe if you're in Iowa. Tornadoes everywhere the next like, couple days. So make sure you stay safe for that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't and uh, we will see you very soon.